So here's the old laptop battery. There's lots of videos on YouTube on replacing the individual cells inside here. It's certainly not coming apart easily. The videos I've watched, they appear to magically come apart quite easily. I expect if we get these labels off, we might be able to work along this seam. It's not coming apart easily, I'll say that. Have to be fairly careful because I think along there is the battery uh, balance circuit, the charger or protection circuit. So you don't want to dig right in and damage that. You don't want to dig straight in and actually puncture the cells either. That wouldn't be very clever. One of those things that I expect if you've done it a few times, you know the tricks. So that's the only bit that's come loose so far is the back edge. I'll work on this little bit off screen and then we'll come back again. Well, a fair amount of time has passed. I've had to keep working my way around the seam with a sharp knife. Carefully try not to dig in too far. In fact, I can see I've actually scored the outside of the plastic there. But we have got it coming apart now. Right, so there we are. We have got it apart. We have six 18650s. And they come out nicely. I expect they're probably stuck in with double sided tape. Oh no, glue. So, yeah. Six eighteen six fifties. As far as I know, they're in pairs. Sticky tape round there to hold them in place. So negative together, positive together, negative together. positive together but they've done them the opposite way just to make it awkward. Can you ease it off the board there? Right, so this is more complicated than the one that I watched on YouTube. We've got a yellow wire coming up from there which would be an intermediate connection. That and that I think are thermal sensors or yeah, heat sensors I reckon. That black wire goes to the midpoint there, so we've got midpoint there, midpoint there. So this one this one's a bit more complicated than the one that I looked at on YouTube. But we should still be able to do the basic measurement, which is measure them, measure them, measure them. 
four volts. Four volts. Four volts. Well, that's interesting. Because that's actually indicating they've all got good voltage on them. Or at least the pairs have. And yet, this wasn't charging at all. Well, that's a surprise. Because that's indicating they're practically fully charged. Very odd. I'm not going to go any further on this. Because I don't have any spare 18650s anyway. I'd have to buy them. And to buy, well, six of them will cost as much as I just paid, or let cost more than I would have paid for that replacement battery. So I'll put this back together for now. I'm surprised. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting at least one pair to be well down. But they're all looking fine. Very strange. Just for the record, round the inside of here there's all lots of little clips to clip it all together, but it was also glued. So, clipped and glued, so it didn't want to come apart. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.